Hello, you're on Penstock channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Sukhov and today I will show you, uh, I will show myself. <laughs> I'm going to react to the video which is called Learn Pen Spinning 3 Pen Tricks. It was made by, by Mike Shake and oh my god, it got 4 million, almost 700,000 views. Jesus, a lot of people learned 3 simple pen tricks. I wanna watch this video because it is always interesting to watch how beginners learn their first tricks as I almost forgot how I did it by myself. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started with watching this video. I wanted to learn a few pen spinning tricks and I decided to start with a thumb around. That was pretty nice how he made this uh, slow mo motion and then reverse spin. I decided to start with a thumb around. The theory <laughs> is pretty simple and it consists okay. in spinning a pen around your thumb and catching it when it arrives at an initial point. So we need to hold the pen. With well guys, you're going to have some problems trying to learn tricks with such pens. It takes something longer than that, but if you, he will manage to do that, well, that's gonna be pretty impressive. Between index finger, middle finger and thumb. At this point, we pull the middle finger inwards and this should cause the pen to start turning around your thumb. And even if it seems pretty easy, when I started trying, I kept throwing the pen in many different weird directions. No matter what, the pen kept falling in some way before I could catch it. Yeah, and this happens because because your pen model doesn't, your pen doesn't have center balanced and the momentum at the end. So yeah, my shake is going to struggle with this one. Then I kept trying, and after a while, I understood that the amount of force with which you move the middle finger is the basis of the thumb around. Too much force causes the pen to fly away. With too little force, the pen doesn't make it all the way around the thumb. After we bring the middle finger inwards, yeah. That's the correct conclusion and yeah, you should take a note about this advice. Uh, yes, you should apply needed force to your pen mod. To your pen. We also need to move the index finger out of the way to prevent it blocking the spinning movement of the pen. I was slowly but constantly getting better. And after about 15 minutes, I got my first thumb around. And 50 minutes or 15 minutes? Not, not 15 of course, and I guess that uh, 50 minutes is pretty good result. Yes, it took me about, I think, two or three hours to get thumb around. And you should also know that I tried it with such a pen mod, modified pen. So it was much easier for me than it was for him. Yes! And after another 20 minutes of practice, I was getting it consistently. The key here is the positioning of the fingers. If you put them too high, the pen will spin too much. Oh, you mean the position of your fingers on your pen mod. You should take a pen mod with its bigger part looking down. So most of the weight of the pen would be here, so it will make it rotate over your thumb much easier than it would be like this, of course. It's spin and off. But by putting my fingers right in the middle of the pen, I started getting comfortable with the movement. And I would advise you to move fingers even closer to its cap. And then it also became pretty relaxing. I also tried with different pens, and I think that with longer and heavier objects, it's definitely easier to practice. The second trick I wanted to learn is the charge. Well, learning charge with a simple pen is going to be pretty tricky, so I don't really understand how he is going to do it. By holding the pen between middle finger and index finger. The very tip of the pen needs to stay in this area at the bottom of your thumb. Abducting charge. A good way to start to learn charge. Extending your middle finger and index finger outwards, you release the tip of the pen, causing it to snap off. If at this point you don't do anything, the pen will just fall. And to make angle even a little bit sharper, I would recommend you to take a pen between middle and green fingers. To make the pen spin, we need to move the first finger slightly outwards, causing the pen to change direction and go in the opposite way. At this point by curling the first finger, you cause the pen to return to the initial position. Oh, that was really nice. <laughs> nice editing. And even with this second trick, the theory was pretty simple. So I thought I was gonna get it immediately. <laughs> you thought the charge is going to be easy. It took me about a week of non-stop trying to in charge. My fingers were totally confused. In the beginning, my movement was really mechanic and highly exaggerated. And the spin of the pen was not fluid at all. So I kept practicing over and over again. But I must say that it is already a charge and he is good to go with such charge. But after about 20 minutes, I was still using a lot of finger motion to try making the pen spin the right way. The good thing is that it's pretty easy to practice pen spinning. And I will also recommend you to bend fingers. And then when you make this tip slide from thumb flap, you straighten them up. You can keep trying basically everywhere. <coughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 no. 
and I kept trying a lot. Then Nothing after about way. 45 minutes, suddenly it simply clicked. I realized that I was applying a lot of tension to the pen, causing the movement to be mechanic. But then I understood that the more relaxed your fingers are, the more fluid is gonna be the spin. I kept that's a really nice note as well. Also recommend to move your bottom finger faster than your upper finger. And at the same time you could apply a little force by upper finger. To make an understanding of this you could use your left hand to make charge as well. Finally, after about one hour I could barely see my fingers move and the pen was following a circular path while spinning. Within an hour? What are you talking about my friend? Within an hour? How do people do that? So I learned the thumb around, the charge, and then I wanted to learn the finger pass. This trick consists in passing the pen from the index finger to the pinky by making it rotate between the fingers. But when I first started trying my movement, was absolutely terrible so following the theory it is absolutely terrible because longer pen you take easier to make here we position the pen between the first knuckles of the index finger and the middle finger then we push the two fingers towards each other again don't tense your fingers like that always keep them relaxed doing any tr pin spinning tricks intention to the pen and bringing the index finger down when the pen gets in a vertical position we catch it with the ring finger and we release the index finger then we put tension between the middle finger finger and the ring finger and we repeat the same thing between the ring finger and the pinky. You can also sway pen in your fingers a bit. This way you will make sure that they, your fingers are not tensed. But this time I found really hard getting fast progress. After 40 minutes the trick wasn't looking smooth but through practice I understood a few things that I could improve. Oh my god it was pretty smooth for that time period. Doing finger pass smooth will take you pff, pretty long time, I say. Positioning of the pen is really important. You need to keep it between the external knuckles of your fingers and not close to the bottom. Not close to the bottom, but uh, closer to tips of your fingers. It's also easier if you curl your fingers instead of keeping them straight. This allows you to move them faster. <laughs> oh my God, how many cool advice does he have? That's, that's pretty nice, that's pretty neat. The hardest part is passing the pen from the ring finger to the pinky. But after a while I was getting better and I understood the right pressure to apply with the fingers. If you put too much tension the pen is gonna shake. If instead you don't apply enough pressure you won't have a lot of control on the pass. And then it's all about practice to make it smooth. In the beginning it looked really bad and slowly I got more fluid. It took me more than 3 hours this time but at the end I was pretty- 3 hours? This guy is really good at learning things. 2 weeks I guess my finger pass was not 2 weeks. Several months? My finger pass was really choppy and uh, really bad executed like as he showed in the beginning of this part of this video about finger pass. It could probably get better with a mod, but it's already really fun. Pen spinning is fun and relaxing when you learn it. And I really believe you should give it a try. And I definitely recommend you to do so. Well, that was really cool. I enjoyed watching a beginner who was learning his first tricks with pen. Totally agree with all the advices which he gave in this video. I think that Mike Shake is pretty talented as he catches such things pretty quickly. If he would continue improving in pen spinning, I'm totally sure that he is going to get some great results and will be able to do really impressive things with pens. And by the way, I have a video which could help you to start and progress in pen spinning faster than it was even for my shake. I will leave link in the description, there is a lot of different pen spinning beginner guides. Cheers guys! Thanks for watching! Bye!